Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Edge Master Gaming, where today what we're going to be doing is covering the latest nail gun update in Project Lazarus. And guys, you know how this goes. I'll do my best to give examples or video clips, depending upon if I have anything in my archives, uh, as well as uh, giving my personal thoughts on the portion of the update that I'm covering. But before we get started, guys, make sure you check out the description box for timestamps of this video, as well as site links that help support Edge Master Gaming. All right, guys, let's get started. So our first portion on the update is the mystery box where Logitech updated the chance of getting a wonder weapon to be the same regardless of the number of other guns in the mystery box. I really like this portion of the update. I mean, the fact that it's already hard enough to get frostbite from the mystery box and if you added more weapons which made it harder to get the gun uh, in the future, that would really be uh, disheartening. Next up is the nail gun, which is the update that we've all been waiting for in this video. It's a full auto power tool that fires steel nails that's been added to the mystery box. It carries 20 steel nails in the magazine and has 180 in reserves provided you're wearing a proper tool belt. This gun looks like your classic DeWalt series cordless nail gun that can be obtained from any of your well-known home improvement stores. This nail gun has quick reload and a decent fire rate, but the damage is lacking. I believe that you can one shot up to round 9 or 10, I'm not really sure. And the reason why is because my mystery box RNG is really bad right now. Either way, let's see this gun in action. The packed version of this weapon is the Renovator, where it has 24 in the magazine and 360 in reserves. It carries the deconstruction module where nails detonate after delay and stacking seven nails causes a more powerful detonation. Now let's see this gun at work. Well guys, my final thoughts on this weapon is that I really think that you guys shouldn't even waste your time. This gun is really, really bad. Uh, if I were to rank this weapon out of all the guns in Project Lazarus, this gun would probably be the second worst gun in the entire game. The nail gun doesn't have piercing like the crossbow, but what it does have over the crossbow is that each shot counts as two hits due to the many explosions. You can hit multiple targets with the bigger detonation, and you can kill more zombies during insta-kill due to the fire rate. Aside from that, you'll find yourself using a plenty of ammunition beyond round 15 since this is where the damage begins to fall off. And lastly, I wouldn't rely on this gun too much going into the later rounds or you may find yourself ending up like this guy. Ken? Mike? Come Mike, it's me. What are you doing? Next up is the M14, where Logitech fixed an issue that caused the sights to be slightly misaligned. I looked back through older videos that I had and I didn't find anything that showed any misalignment or anything like that, so uh, we'll just go ahead and move on. Now the next three weapons that were added to this update had their inspect animation added, as well as uh, some minor changes or touch-ups to their reload and equip animation. Here's the new inspect animation for the Remington. Here's the new inspect animation for the Benelli M4. Here's the new inspect animation for the USAS. I gotta admit, I like this little slide back at the end. It's pretty cool. Up next in our update is the crossbow where the new inspect animation has been added. Also, Logitech fixed a rare bug where the reloading could cause the script to break. Now, I was unable to find any of the reloading animation causing the script to break, but I do have the new inspect animation. Yeah. 
Next on our list is the weapon framework where Logitech fixed a bug where the mouse cursor became a visible square while in game. I unfortunately don't have any footage of this so we'll just move on to the next item. Next up is single action where Logitech fixed a rare animation bug with reloading and cycling. I think what it's talking about is, for instance, if you're using the Remington and you're trying to do a reload while the pump action is happening, it will actually cancel the reload like you just never pressed anything. So if that's the case, then this update was really needed. Next item on the list is projectile weapons, where projectile speed is no longer affected by slower frame rates. Wow, that would be really annoying. Say if you hit a lag spike and all of a sudden your projectiles don't come out as fast anymore, that would be terrible. I also don't have any footage of this, so we'll just move on to the next item. Next item in the update is movement, where you can no longer sprint while drinking a perk. Now this is one part of the update that I really disagree with. I really don't understand how drinking a perk can affect your legs. I mean, what purpose did it serve to change that? I mean, there have been times when I actually grabbed a perk in the middle of a zombie horde or during uh, the middle of the round, and I had to sprint so I could get out of the way, uh, but you know what, I digress. Next up is revive. Downed players can't squirm around as much when being revived. Players performing the revive can move around less. I really don't understand this part of the update either. I personally liked uh, moving around the player when I was reviving them. This helped me to stay mobile as well as avoid zombies that were close to me, but oh well. Our next item on the update is the player ragdolls. Updated player ragdoll code to more closely match the one used for zombies. So I went into a public game just to see if I can catch one of the players just getting downed by a zombie and this is what I saw. I don't know, it doesn't look like much of a difference to me. What do you guys think? Our second to last item in the update is a small update to try and return players that glitch out of the map. That's definitely pretty cool and much needed, so uh, nothing more to say here, let's move on. And our last couple of updates that were done to the game were to replace the Easter Egg song on Research because Roblox Audio Asset was blocked for copyright violations. Also, the game badge was added to reflect the new song which is called Skull Crusher. I wonder if this means that I could actually play the new song on my channel if I decide to without any copyright strikes. Yeah, better not chance it. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think of the new Project Lazarus update in the comment section down below. And as always guys, remember to have fun, take care, and God bless.